Welcome back to Unleashed, Feed the Beast Unleashed. You're here with Maligner. Watching me get my butt crunched. Alright, so I did a little test. I went to no texture pack. I checked my frame rate. And you can probably tell by watching the video, my frame rate is an abysmal 20 to 26, somewhere in that range. It's exactly the same with and without the texture pack, and the graphical glitch is there as well. So for now, we're going to stick with the texture pack. And that's just because I just don't see any reason not to. Uh, I don't see any advantage. Size, let's be correct. Let's say what we mean. <sighs> so, today, what are we going to do? We're going to dig in. We're going to get some stuff done here. And when I say get stuff done, I don't really mean we're going to get much done because I'm pretty slow. What we're going to do is we're going to try to gather a few basic resources. I've said this in my other series, but I'm not sure what to do on camera and what to do off camera. So I will do a little bit of everything on and off camera, at least at first, play by ear. I debated doing this early setup. <clears throat> I even, excuse me, I even debated um, getting a little bit of an establishment going before I uh, began. But uh, then you would have been deprived of the stupidity of me getting my rear end kicked. I'm sure anybody who actually watches this likes seeing morons get their just desserts. So, you know, I know I like seeing it. Why shouldn't other people like it, right? So, what we're going to do is we're going to have our little hovel, our little basic wood plank piece of junk hovel. You know, the kind that everybody dreams of. And we're going to subsist here for just a short time not a really long time because what can what can tend to happen is that you kinda get overburdened with materials <coughs> excuse me and then once you get to that point you it's like the Hotel California you can check out but you can't leave right you can log out of the game but you can't ever leave your you know where you sink roots now, I don't really want that to happen so, I was talking about this before. I'm a charcoal guy. I like to make charcoal early on. I like to use it efficiently. I like to save my coal. Um, you know, I debate about that in my brain because, let's face it, the world in Minecraft, one of the great things about it is it's it's never-ending. There are unlimited resources. So, let's say you burn let's say you burn tons of coal so what you go f somewhere else you miscraft you know you go 500 blocks away and you find more right well, my brain just doesn't work like that right so you <laughs> even though that's a reasonable thought I, I just I don't know I just don't like to do it so we will be burning charcoal and save that coal. And I hope that doesn't drive other people bonkers. I hope. Alright. So we got that. We need to upgrade to stone. I've got 22. Let's get a little bit more stone. Oh. This is interesting. This is part of dark craft if I'm not mistaken. And the real advantage of these slimes is they provide food. And I can't really fault the guy for providing a decent little source of food. These little slime balls. Gelatinous slime. It says it smells terrible. I can't see any negative effect, but you eat it, you gain one hunger for each piece that you eat. And when you find slimes, they drop a whole bunch of it. So, perfect. Wonderful. So I think what I'll do, since I don't really plan to come to this exact spot, is mine up a whole pick's worth. 
you know, I probably should head up to the top. You know what? I want a whole day. I want a whole day to get up there. And I'd like to have a bucket, but I'm just gonna have to come back for water. I mean, as painful as that sounds. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure that'll go well too. Um. <laughs> yeah. Wow. That just that makes me feel like jumping off a cliff just thinking about that I guess I'll keep just a little bit of this pick you know actually it might be fun just to toss it off the top of this stupid highlands that I decided you, you'll see you'll see you'll go man when I get to it you'll say that's what you wanted to do that's why you went up there and I'll say yeah you know I, I've kind of always wanted to do it and I've never bothered to actually do it in a single player game before or even multiplayer so I saw this world, and you know, there's lots of cool biomes with biomes of plenty. But I just thought, you know, I'm just gonna do this. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do something different. And uh, you know, in case you hadn't noticed, there's floating slime islands. So ultimately, there's the opportunity there with this. You might be seeing that now. I'm not gonna talk about it, but you can see. You got eyes. Oh, that reminds me. I wanted to shut clouds off. Yeah. Hopefully the sounds aren't too loud. I've got the music and sounds on. I want to hear them, but I didn't want them to be quote unquote too loud. That guy's going to burn up before I can get to him. If I can... Yeah, there he goes. But he drops some rotten flesh. Now, if you're not familiar with, with Feed the Beast Unleashed or any of the Feed the Beast, um, you know, we'll talk about these things. There, uh, as I said, there's some things I know, and there's there's things I don't. One of the advantages or things that I know is rotten flesh can be used to make leather um, fairly cheaply, but it's it's kind of a progression thing. You can't make the leather immediately, and that's that's important. But ultimately, it's it's of little consequence because. Um, lost my train of thought. It's a little consequence because we'll be getting to that point pretty quickly. You know, it just depends on how much I get sidetracked. That's the other problem I have. I get sidetracked very easily. So, sun's going down. We're going to take this stack of charcoal. We're actually going to make another stack. While that's going on, we're going to make some, you know what, yeah, that's enough. And this this is part of the thing. I like torches in the three slot for now. I may change that later. Um, oh, that was not smart. So it's dark, getting dark, and I will plug my hole get away from creepers if I had to, so let's just do it this way. I don't want to be, if both are open, then I can't get away from, from them on both sides. And, yeah, I kind of hate doing this, but I'm doing this because running back here would be so painful. <laughs> Absolutely. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to end the recording here, I think. Very, whoop, hello. Very soon, I'm going to end the recording. Let's finish this guy off. Um, it's going to make an observation, but you know, there's not really much reason to. Oh, that's what's happening. That's why. I was thinking, I was thinking, now how did these slimes get. You know what? They're falling. They're falling from the island. How stupid of me. You know, I, like I said, an idiot deserves what he gets. <sighs> the pain and the agony. Okay, that's enough for now. So what we'll do is we'll catch up again next episode. And we'll carry on again when we're climbing up the highlands. 
to our next safety spot. So I'll have to disassemble this cubby hole rather quickly and head off trekking, and that's what we'll be doing next episode. Until then, thanks for watching. This is Mylander saying mahalo.